Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma. Behind the camera is Alex and today we're exploring the beautiful Isle of Skye. Have you ever been to a place and instantly known it would stay with you from that moment on? A place that leaves you with no alternative than to stop and breathe. Where everything is still and the present moment is the only thing that exists. For us, that place is the Isle of Skye. In this video, we want to share our love for this place with you. From the boundless natural beauty, mystical fairy glen, walking where dinosaurs once roamed, and some of the most memorable hiking we've done so far. I can't believe we're actually on the Isle of Skye right it now. It has been on our list for way too bloody long. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually quite surprised whilst researching this trip how easy it was. There's a bridge! Okay, obviously that sounds quite naive. If you know, then you know that there's a bridge. I but I definitely didn't know that you can drive In onto the mind, Isle of Skies. I thought you were going to have to get like one of those small planes out here. Yeah. Or, or a ferry or something. <laughs> I did not think you could just drive over a bloody bridge and be here in two minutes. Like we say it's easy. You have to still drive to the uh, absolute non the highlands. <laughs> It's, in that sense, it's not so easy. Yeah, true. Look how still this is. That's incredible. That's the stillest that I've seen any of the water on this trip so far. Oh, I wish we had like a standard paddleboard or a I kayak. I know, it would be so good. We have a busy day in store to try to take advantage of the weather, but we just can't stop <laughs> stopping. We have been on Sky for a grand total of about 15 minutes. We cannot drive past views like this without stopping. How crazy is it with the reflection? It's so beautiful. It Absolutely makes me want to paint. I have no interest <laughs> in being an artist, although I do like to be pretentious. And I would love to paint this <laughs> If this is any representation of what the rest of the day is going to be like, I cannot bloody wait to get going. <laughs> If you needed any more indication that we are on heaven right now, how dreamlike is this clip? I've never seen anything like it. The clouds, or like the reflection of the clouds on the water, make it look like a floating island in the sky. <laughs> the Isle of Sky. Maybe that's why it's called Isle of Sky. We off. found the Isle of Sky. Outrageous, though. It's so like such a weird optical illusion. We're 40 minutes into this drive. I don't see how we're ever going to leave this place. <laughs> we live here now. Yeah. <laughs> Our next stop was the Kilt Rock viewpoint, whose basalt columns have a similar appearance to that of a pleated kilt. Here you will also find Mealt Falls, tumbling nearly 60 metres down over the cliffs of Kilt Rock onto the beach below. It's not every day you see a waterfall on a beach, is it? Something I find really striking about this, other than being a waterfall on a beach, is the contrast between the green on top of the waterfall and the black from the rocks on the side. This is also a really great place to look out for wildlife because they have the common dolphin, the bottlenose dolphin, bottlenose, that's a mouthful, bottlenose dolphin, the minky whale, and the porpoise. All out for our eyes to see. Would you say that it's cloudy with a chance of meow falls? <laughs> That's so bad. That's I love so it. Good. <laughs> How dare you even say that's bad? <laughs> I feel like you need to have a child because your jokes are reflective <laughs> of dad jokes. <laughs> Top quality. <laughs> There's no jokes. excuse. <laughs> This area in the northern part of Skye is known as the Trottenish Peninsula, home to a number of interesting and dramatic land formations following an ancient landslip. Driving through this part of Skye is truly breathtaking and has to be seen to be believed. Have you ever seen anything like this? It's absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Wow. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was going to be nice, but again, it's caught me off guard. <laughs> 
We are on our way over to the Fairy Glen, which was created through the big landslides that happened all that time ago. The Fairy Glen was actually named because of some fairy tale folklore. And in ancient folklore here, the fairies aren't very friendly. They're actually quite mean. And if you piss them off, they'll put a spell on you. And so basically they banned any kind of digging or excavation around these fairy mounds because they're afraid of the fairies. <laughs> we have read that it's not as popular here as other spots around the island, but I feel like it should be because I've seen photos. It looks pretty great. I'm really hoping the reality lives up to the expectation. lovely up here. It's so magical. unique. Very unique little landscape. I can see where it got its name and all the, the sort of fairy tale stuff around it because it is very fairy tale like up here. It kind of reminds me of something like in a video game. You know like a little area and the little grass bits will have like... Yeah if you pick up those thing. rocks something will come out. Yeah that'll be like a home point that you go to to save. <laughs> This landscape is very unique and I've never seen anything like this in England. It does remind me of the chocolate hills in the Philippines. Yeah. I don't know what it is in the Philippines that makes the chocolate hills look all fuzzy, mm -hmm. but here you've got the ferns that obviously like cover all the mounds, which are green in summertime, I guess, but they've all gone brown with the autumn, so they do have this yeah. kind of chocolatey tint to them. It also looks a little bit like that Silbury Hill in Wiltshire which also was like that man-made hill. Oh, And it yeah. kind of has that sort of vibe to it, but, but loads, loads of them. Loads of them. With darkness fast approaching and the moody weather taking hold, it was time to find a place to park up for the night. I always love it when we find a really great spot for the night. So we found the perfect spot. It's just around the corner from where we're planning on going if the weather improves. Um, but I just love it actually when it does rain at night because it means we can get all cozy in the van and it has actually been really nice even in the wet red wet weather? Wet Wet, wet. Reather. <laughs> That's what you want to say, Reather. Wet weather. <laughs> and actually because we have our diesel heater it's been really nice because not only has it helped with like heating up the van but it's dried our stuff out which has been such a godsend so whenever we come in all sopping wet from a hike we hang all our stuff on whack on the diesel heater works a dream we also have it set for in the morning so when we wake up it's all nice and toasty in the van yeah you can set a timer on it so like say we're getting up early to go hiking we'll set it to, to go off at like half six or something so it's much easier easier to get out of bed in the morning when it's warm in here. If you're interested, the diesel heater that we've got it with is with Auto Term, and they have given us a discount code, which if you check the description, it'll be there waiting for you. <laughs> Are you sure you should be operating a knife right now? This was the knife I was trying to get into the packaging for the culprit. And for those that don't get the insider joke, Emma had to go to hospital. She didn't have to go to hospital, she gave herself a little cut and she said that she had to go to hospital. Turns out she just needed a plaster and she's been a wimp. This is what I love about van life, it's like the simplicity. The simplicity of having your woman cook for you is... Your woman! <laughs> I've never heard you say that! Yeah, but I'm playing a character. Of course, of course. Sorry, go back to the character. The simplicity of having your woman cook you a below par meal is so, so lovely on a rainy day. And then usually I just sit back, put my feet up and do nothing. Seriously, onions again. Onions That's only all I ever make you. A bowl of onions. It's your favourite. <laughs> Let's cut a bit of finger now. You just cut yourself? No, I cut my nail. They're there to protect my fingers. You used to be good at cooking. Mate, you are so mean. You love a bit of finger with your onion. <laughs> Luckily, 
the sun has decided to shine on us today for another day of hiking in beautiful Isle of Skye. And today we're doing the Kerrang hike, which is yet again another landslide formation. Wasn't Kerrang like the name of like a music channel back in the day? Like MTV Kerrang. and Kerrang, it was like Nickelback. And... I have no idea, but it rings a bell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was spelt the same. No. <laughs> Look part of the path. I don't know how you're going to do this holding the camera. We'll find out. I think it's quite wet. This is definitely one of the more interesting walks that I've ever done, especially as we almost didn't do it because we're feeling quite lazy this morning. <laughs> lazy beans. But walking through an actual waterfall. That's pretty nice. Kind of on the side of a cliff, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> and not at all unsafe. <laughs> Have I said it's beautiful too many times? I think that was about 50 videos ago. <laughs> I just, I never thought I'd love Scotland as much as I do. I, I love it more than any place I've visited. Day after day, consistently, I love it. It's constantly surprising me and amazing me. This is officially the best hike of this Scotland trip and I couldn't oh recommend it enough. God. Hiking through waterfalls is the best thing ever. Like so many. <gasps> oh my god it's so beautiful. This place is the most magical place that I've ever been. F the Fairy Glen <laughs> which I really liked at the time but this is something else. This whole island is just magical. We soaked in the views as much as we could and although we could have stayed forever we made our way back towards the van as we had another hike to do. Our next stop, hidden away in the clouds, was the Old Man of Store, the most well-known hiking spot on the island and home to one of the most dramatic landscapes in Britain. I forgot how warm you get when you do actual exercise and I, I love the thought that like all of the shots walking up here I'm wearing less and less clothes as I go up the side of the hill. <laughs> I think a lot of subscribers would like if that happened as well. <laughs> I start off with like a woolly hat and a coat on and now yeah. by the time I get to the top I'll just be in my knickers. <laughs> <laughs> you know that now you've said that you've given me a thumbnail idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you in your knickers for that, that thumbnail. Would that be the chop in my thumb off thumbnail? I don't know it's up to them to decide. I might like to see the behind the scenes of these kind of thumbnails, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> we have so much fun coming up with these ideas. YouTube sucks in the sense that you need to sometimes do these kind of thumbnails because they work better than just normal nice things. So we come up with funny ideas, some people won't like it, that's extra funny to us that they leave because they're offended by something like this. <laughs> it's just lovely little Emma getting down to her knickers having a hike. Why are you filming me getting dressed? This is the least interesting part. I think people want to maximise skin <sighs> skin exposure time. Oh. I'm trying to dodge all the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> the walk takes around an hour and 15 minutes without stopping, but you'll definitely want to stop to take in the striking and truly unique views that you'll see along the way. 
this definitely has to be the most middle earthly place we have ever visited. This has been a popular place for filming movies such as King Arthur, Transformers and Stardust. That looks very stardusty. It does look quite stardusty, doesn't it? That's such a good movie. And it gets its name of the great old man of store because apparently the rock face actually resembles the face of an old man. I like you say apparently because whenever we hear this kind of stuff, we can never see it. I can't see it. I don't. Can you see it? Leave in the comments if you can see it. <laughs> There's also something about to do that it's his thumb. Yes. I it's a bit it's, confusing. It's this bit over here, the really pointy bit. I think that's supposed to be what's left of him. This and is that stuff. is also supposed to be a lava plug. Now, if I hear some kind of plug that looks like that, it's not what I'm thinking to do with lava. A volcanic plug is created when magma hardens, blocking the main vent of a volcano. Scotland has no active volcanoes at this time. However, if there were, this could lead to an extreme buildup of pressure from the magma trapped beneath. I knew that the sky was going to be nice due to the recommendations and when you look online and the things to do, they all look great. But I think actually what makes a place is all of the bits that don't go on to that list. So just when you're just driving, the things that aren't necessarily beautiful enough to say this is a top thing to do. It's the things that surround the beauty is what really makes it for me. For example, in the Highlands, when you're just driving around, there's things that aren't really noteworthy of filming, but just being in them and knowing that they're harbouring the things to do. <laughs> That's what makes it. The final spot is somewhere that we wouldn't have come if it wasn't for one of the commenters who recommended coming here. I'm pretty excited for it, to be honest. <laughs> this is Staffin Beach. It's where you can hopefully find dinosaur footprints. That's right, real dinosaur footprints from dinosaur times where they're stomping around on the Isle of Skye. <laughs> What? <gasps> no! That looks like the photo up there! No way! What? That was way easier than I expected it to be! I thought I was going to have to search this whole thing. But on the photo you can see like the little green bits on the rock. So I was looking at these green bits here and there it is! Hello, Mr. Dinosaur Footprint. Yeah, you're not supposed to be guaranteed to find them. They're supposed to still be pretty hard. I feel like it's bonkers to like to think that, I mean, it's not really that surprising. Like you've seen Jurassic Park, right? This seems like the perfect setting for a dinosaur movie. And that's 100% factual. That is 100% factual. <laughs> well, there you go. I don't know what to say, that was really easy. Put your foot in it so we can see. Same kind of web toes as you. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> there are supposed to be quite a few of these footprints dotted around, but if you want to find this one, it's literally come here at low tide, walk down to the beach, and just when the rocks stop and it turns to sand, it's just straight ahead of you. It's really not that far or hard to find, and it's right next to the rocks with all the green moss on. Researchers have found dozens of fossil footprints in the area, so we spent the rest of the afternoon trying, but failing, to find more. I don't think I've ever been to a place that has black sand beaches before. I've heard of Iceland having black sand beaches, but I didn't realise Scotland had black sand beaches. So they've got lovely white sand beaches with turquoise water, and they've got these moody ones with all these awesome rocks and black sand. they got it all! <laughs> A few of you have actually messaged in the comments and on Instagram about my Beans Out hat, which I've been wearing for quite a long time now. Yes. <laughs> I would like to announce proudly that this will be our first piece of Bean merch going on sale ASAP. I will put a link down in the description below. If you would like to get your little mitts on your own Beans Out hat, go and check out the link in the description. That is it for today's video and to say that we've enjoyed Sky is an understatement. Oh my goodness, it has definitely been the highlight of the trip so far. I say that every video because every video has been the highlight of the trip so far but now this is the highlight of the trip so far.
If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and leave in the comments. Have you been to Sky? And if you have, what have we missed on this video? And have you ever hiked in the nuddies? And if you have, was it as freeing as I felt it was? <laughs> <laughs> and nothing left to say, but thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and beans out! Next time on Travel Beans. If it wasn't so busy slash I had a cozy on me, I'd be jumping straight in there because as much as I hate cold water, it looks so enticing. Is it actually happening?